Hey y'all, I'm out here at the Simper Fresh Garden tonight. Um, came out to do a check-in, see if there's anything that needs to be harvested. I did not come this morning. Um, I'm actually <laughs> wearing a sweatshirt right now. Uh, as crazy as that sounds, I am anemic and there are days, uh, especially during the summer, where I am just cold. Um, all the time. I eat a high iron diet, except chicken livers. I just don't, I just can't handle that. But, um, I eat a high iron diet and lots of green vegetables, but, um, even with taking iron supplements, I still have to get infusions from the oncologist. So, um, I haven't had an infusion in a little while. I haven't been wanting to go to the doctor, um, at all since, uh, COVID-19. I've just been kind of trying to stay out of it, but I uh, figured I would take y'all along tonight on a walk through the garden to see what's new, and then we'll go back into the uh, raised bed area where we will be constructing our high tunnel and see what's going on back there. I'm anxious to see how bad my tomato plants look today. Um, in the morning times, they look great, but in the evenings, they look a little rough. So, um, yeah, let's get in the garden, y'all. This guy is starting to bloom up here in the front, so that is exciting. <coughs> Seeing lots of new cucumbers coming. Not seeing any major pest issues here. I am anxious to see about these Kajari melons if they're going to produce at all or what's going to happen here with those. So you can start to see on my moon and stars watermelon that they are st they're already getting the leaf variation that is supposed to be normal for them. I've never grown this variety. I'm late in planting it, but I figured I'd give it a try. And these are supposed to have these types of spots on the fruit as well. Um, so I'm really excited about these, especially since I love space so much. <laughs> I thought that would be a good one to do. Peaches and cream corn. Nasturtiums still hanging out here. I love these blossoms from my succulents. Really pretty. So I've not seen any bloom. Oh, here's some blooms yet on these pole beans that I planted in the front of the garden, but it looks like I have a few coming, so that's cool. I need to see what the, um, I forget how many days these are supposed to take, but these are a dry bean, so it'll be longer than 60 days, probably more like 90. Oh, it looks like my wonderful husband weed eated today for me. Isn't he awesome? Look how pretty. Thank you, honey. Look at this, y'all. Th this is a golden midget watermelon. How cute. I think this is, I had one over there growing, but it didn't look golden like this. But this is from the golden midget watermelon plant. So, so cute. Look at all these watermelons. Yum. Oh, look. An okra. Oh, another okra. Oh, I got to start checking these guys every day too now. They're going to be popping out everywhere. I have some new um, birdhouse gourd blooms. So that's really cool and exciting. And I've got several gourds that are growing. Where's the one from over here? Oh, look at that one. Oh, and a squash bug. Gotta get him. He's hiding. Let me get him now. Look how cute that little guy is. And here's a big one here. This is the most successful I've been with gourds. Even though I've been gardening pretty much my entire life, um, I've learned a lot of valuable lessons along the way and uh, had a lot of failures. Uh, and that's really the best way to learn is um, by failing 
you can read as many gardening books or listen to the advice of as many gardeners um, there are. I mean, that kind of stuff definitely helps you prepare and, and teaches you mistakes not to make. But in all honesty, the best way you're going to learn um, how to garden in your garden is to garden in your garden. Lots of squash bugs over here, so I'm gonna try to do away with them. I don't have my bug glove on, so I'm just gonna have to squish them with my fingers. Can y'all see him right there? He's hiding from me. Oh, he's on the back side of that one. Let me get him. I have a bell pepper, y'all. I think this is my first, or the biggest at least, bell pepper out here. Peppers are doing much better this year than they did last year. And look at all this okra. And I have a pollinator down there on my flower. Man. Here it comes. The okra boom. Okay, y'all. I was checking um, my squash for squash bugs and for eggs. Over here in this bed, have not seen any, but... I have a lot of squash that has popped up in the last two days. I didn't really check yesterday when I was out. So I have a zucchini squash over there that kind of is growing like a yellow squash. Um, I knew that this uh, yellow squash was here, but I have a pretty nice size zucchini that popped up. And my zucchini over here is ready to be harvested. I don't think I want to let this go another day because he might get too big to eat. Then I have several more yellow squash coming. So, uh oh, no, that's a spider. So, um, and I also have some more of the pink potted beans ready. So I'm just really excited to see this progress. These are the plants that I thought died in the frost. And um, I'm just excited to see that they're that they are uh, making it so that's really cool also have another little zucchini coming up there a baby um, so we're gonna have lots of squash this year that's really exciting and I have several other spots in the garden with squash um, again trying to uh, succession plant it and also try to keep the squash bugs at bay some more my zinnias have bloomed so pretty Debating on whether I should cut them and bring them in the house or not. I think I may just let them keep growing. Looking here at my tomato plants. Everything looks well here. Dances with Smurfs. I trimmed up my basil a good bit, so I'm hoping that that helps that plant out. Ooh, look back here. Y'all, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Finally getting some blushing slicers. Ooh. I'm just going to have to pull this uh, pink brandy wine, I think, because it looks like it's dying just like that other one was, and I don't want to get any disease in the garden. Look at that. And this is definitely not what I wanted to see, but I caught him, so he's going to the chickens. Okay, y'all, it has been two days since we put up those Japanese beetle traps, and I am noticing a huge difference. I have only picked off two tonight. I have had zero, knock on wood, um, at my uh, at the house in the green stalks. I haven't had a single one. And we've got three set up here in the garden, and I'm looking at the bags from where I'm standing, and they have plenty of beetles in them. So, those traps definitely work and I will be recommending them. I'll put a link to the ones that we purchased in, um, in the show notes. Okay, so now I'm over here with my hawk eyes. I can't believe I didn't see that hornworm from a mile away. Did not see him. Um, saw that rot on the bottom of that tomato though, but did not see the hornworm. So now I got my hawk eyes on, but I've also noticed, ugh. And 
I should have waited till we had the high tunnel cover on, but I'm still going to try to salvage some of these guys. I do want to go look and see if any of my seeds had germinated yet. I'll be watering them in the morning. I'm also noticing that this one is blushing too. Oh, I gotta clip these leaves off here. And I have a few more baby watermelons over here. So I need to go back and inspect that other one. Maybe it's not supposed to be that color. Maybe that one's dying and it didn't get pollinated. I don't know. But I know I have some okra to harvest. I've got some chocolate sprinkles, tomato plants here. These are looking good. Chris is gonna love those. And um, I need to trim this tree up. Okay, so now that I've seen that hornworm, that's the first one. Last year, I only had one hornworm, and I eliminated him. Um, I'm looking to see if I have any more, because now I'm kind of nervous. I've got some okra to harvest over here. I need to not forget that in my quest to find the hornworms. I'll have to come out here with a black light. Might do it tomorrow night. Get the kids to come help me now that they've, uh, now that we've seen the first one. We've looked a few times and hadn't found anything. And that may be the only one that we do find. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know enough about the hornworm and the cycle of the hornworm and all of that stuff. I probably should do a little more research on that. Now that I've researched the squash bug, I, I feel confident that next year um, I'll be able to combat them a little better. Lots of peppers coming. That's so exciting. But I need to get this okra. Last night we roasted okra and some of our beans and our squash. And I had some Brussels sprouts from a local farm that I roasted. And it was delicious. I got some thyme and rosemary out of um, the green stalk and um, we had delicious roasted vegetables last night with our roast and the bean we, and I made and I made a pot of green beans too so they were just delicious not seeing any more I need to harvest right now but I got some coming lots of blooms down there my favorite bloom in the world is an okra bloom and probably gonna grab all this um, chamomile too and throw it into my uh, oil that I'm making because I have some and this this uh, golden zucchini is the coloring is looking a little off maybe that was the color it's supposed to be all along Let's see a pollinator over here I wanted to see what he was up to he's been here for a minute Oh, it looks like he's waiting on a bloom to open. But I got several cantaloupe babies on here. Oh, and well, let me look at the... Let me look at this again. Maybe this one didn't get pollinated. And it's going to die off. I don't know. That is... That's a golden midget watermelon, too. These two, so... Like I said, I got about 15 melons already developing out here. Exciting stuff. I planted some sunflowers here, the Haas Tools Pro Cut sunflowers. And I see my kids have been playing in this, but I didn't tell them there were flowers planted here. I see one popping out. Two popping out. So, we'll see what becomes of this it may not do anything when the rain comes it might wash it away I don't know but I thought it'd be pretty when you pull up to see this with some sunflowers in front of it I thought it would be pretty and then when you're inside the garden looking this way I thought it would be pretty to see the flowers so we'll see how these do here so my mom just texted me and told me that Kelly Preston passed away today that she had been battling breast cancer and didn't want uh, people to know so that has me really sad because I always really liked her as an actress and as crazy as uh, John Travolta is sometimes I've always liked John Travolta 
Um, he's a really great actor, and um, I feel he's he's a good person. He doesn't believe in the same things I believe in and his religion and different things like that, but I know that he's always done a lot of nice things uh, for society as a whole. But anyway, so I thought that was really, really sad and random. Anyway, Chris has been really busy today. Um, he's been out here. We, he and Bo and I, I mainly just held a couple of pieces, but he and Bo put this bed together last night and he started putting the debris in the bottom. Our biggest challenge here has been that we're on a little bit of a slope, but it's not necessarily a gradual slope as we thought. You may be able to see it back there, but it just kind of dips down. And it was really hard to tell until we started building the beds. Like we walked it numerous times and it was just really hard to tell that there was a dip down. And my tomato plants are looking rough. Um, and that's okay. I mean, like I said, this was an experiment. So I may find some more tomato plants. I mean, I have a bunch still at the house to put out here. Some of these will probably still make it through. Um, man, they look really bad, don't they? God, this is almost embarrassing. I thought that they would be okay considering um, that they've been out in the sun for like three weeks. But this just must be too much heat for them. Um, which really stinks, but that's okay. I mean, it is what it is. I'll go see if I can find some on clearance if I still want to put some tomatoes in here. Or I'll fill it up with some other things that we need because we have plenty of tomatoes over here. Assuming I can keep pests off of them and keep the... Um, uh, any diseases off of them but we'll have plenty of tomatoes coming out of that area but these were some unique varieties that I really wanted to try and some of the propagated suckers from the tomato plants that are already in the garden but I have a lot of other things planted here um, waiting for them to germinate in the morning I will be doing a garden tour film and I will be watering the garden uh, so give these plants some water and we'll probably see some germination here and some of these other spots of the bed soon it should be warm enough for them this soil temperature was pretty hot i had to cool it off before i could plant the other day but anyway so this bed will be constructed and um i won't be planting anything in here until after we get back from our trip Probably even later than that because this bed will be where my brassicas are going and I definitely want to make sure that the high tunnel is constructed with the shade cloth on it before I even put them in because I need those cooler temperatures for the brassicas. They do not like the heat and uh, I wanted to try to get a jump start of growing on our fall crops. Again, it's just an experiment for me and I'll figure out something else to put here and um uh, in these raised beds but anyway um that's pretty much all i'm doing out here this evening i'm about to head home with my sweatshirt on i am sweating a little bit now that i've been walking around and um bending over and looking for more hornworms and all of that good stuff but um y'all have a great evening thanks for hanging out with me tonight i'll see y'all later good night y'all